All right, here we go. All right, so I'm exploring a new place today. Uh, I've been to this place before. It's a, um, they used to manufacture uh, magnetic tapes and do research in that field. I'm hoping you can hear me all right. This water is pretty loud. Oh, we're gonna do a, a bit of a water crossing to get to it. But this place is cool as shit and I want to come back with a new camera and record it. All right, so this is gonna be a little bit of a longer one, but there's a lot of cool things to cover. So here we go. still be seen from the road here. All right. I think I might have a new problem. Somebody's on patrol through here. Couldn't tell if it was a police car or security or what. So here's the deal with that. Uh, I actually did just get stopped. The copy came down. Uh, everything's cool though. He's uh, just checking where I was from. Uh, he could see that I was taking pictures and stuff, so I just told him while I was here, I was taking pictures. And he's like, all right, just be careful down here. There's a lot of drugs. So there you go. Well, the story is, be nice to cops. They're just doing their job. So, I'm not here for fucking drugs. So. so yeah, a little bit of walking. I actually usually I cut through here, but somebody set up some fucking encampment. So I guess I'm gonna find a another way around. Actually, the creek is generally not this low. So I usually can't actually just stroll through it this way. It's a little bit more difficult. But whatever. Actually, I've had a small change of plan. I'm thinking about this. I'm going to move positions to another side of the creek with a car just to uh, keep things good and kosher. That way it looks like I'm just going to different places and taking pictures. Because I know another way to get in there. So I'll bring it back in a minute. I got some walking to do now. Alright, now this is this entrance here is the one that I've used before. But um, this is a little bit up in the air now. I don't know if I should do this today. Okay, so far everything looks alright. service road that I know about. Oh. I see. Uh, 
in all honesty, this uh, this entrance is a lot better. More cover. Ties. That's cool. This guess is from the bridge up above when they replaced the track. That's cool. There's more over that way. All right. This is getting pretty sketchy in a few places. It's about at the limit of the height of my damn hip waders. This is pretty, way deeper than I thought it would be. So that's gonna that might be a problem. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leak. Son of a bitch. Alright. There's really no room for mistakes here. Oh, fuck. Yep. Alright, we're leaking. Son of a bitch. This is bad. <laughs> I'm fucking soaked. Okay. Well, that sucks royally. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Well, fuck at this rate, I just gotta get out of these things. Oh, fuck. Alright. What the hell ruptured? Yeah, I'm so, so looks like I fucking pissed myself. <laughs> Alright, hold on a minute. Yeah, this went well. I am completely fucking soaked now. Let me get out of this shit. <sighs> okay. I got out of my wet ass boots and managed to squeeze them into my bag. Thankfully I had a spare pair of socks. And my jeans aren't completely soaked, so maybe they'll dry out by the time I get to the car. But uh anyway, let's continue this little adventure. I'm already out here. Oh yeah, fuck, I forgot about the warehouse. This is well planned. Let's go to the warehouse first. All right. All right, here we go. Got a few electrical rooms in here. They would control the, um, what is it, the drainage ponds. Uh, they had like a complicated system of where they would control all the runoff from the facility, would go into here and then it would be cleaned up so that it was safe to go into the environment. It's pretty neat. I actually read that on the uh, the EPA reports of this place. It's pretty cool. There's one of them there. It's dry right now, but occasionally they'll fill up a little bit. We get a heavy rain. There's a few of these little stations out here, actually. This is actually a really big facility. Uh, it's It's kind of neat learning a little bit about the history of it. I won't, you know, go into the name of the place or anything like that, just for my own security. But, uh, needless to say, they, they manufactured tapes, like data tapes, cassette tapes for like 3M and Sony, stuff like that. Um, there's another one. They, uh, they were, fuck, one day closed down. 2008 or something? Something like that, 2008-ish. Uh, the EPA actually, when they came in to do site cleanup on this place, they had to um, actually, they had to bring in the bomb squad and they had to detonate certain materials and stuff because it they were too hazardous to actually transport out of the facility, which I think is neat. Unfortunately, when the EPA came and did their cleanup, 
most of these buildings ended up being demolished. Um, you, there's a box of slides on one of the floors in there. I was looking through them. And uh, there's, like, you can see pictures, like, some of the factory floor and stuff. Of course, all that's gone now. Uh, so, it's unfortunate. But there's still as part of the labs are here. Um, there's a few little research buildings on the other side. Uh, you know, a few buildings are left. But uh, for the most part, all the interesting stuff, the real interesting stuff is gone, a lot of it. But this was like my first major place I ever explored, and I still have a fondness for it. You know, as I was, I was really excited. Uh, I've been here three or four times. Took some friends. Uh, yeah. Anyway, all right, let me cut this. And bring it back a little bit. All right, so here we are at the entrance. The door is actually open this time. Um, hmm. It's quite a quite an odor coming from in here. I must be coming from out there. Actually, you know what it smells like? It smells like fish. Or somebody was fishing. They drop some of the ones they didn't want to want to take with them or some shit. Uh, I mean, this is a big empty warehouse. It's got a few things in it. But, uh, I don't, I don't really know what these are. They look like, like almost like radiators or something. But I don't think that's what they'd be. Uh, these are kind of cool over here. Uh, <clears throat> get over here to it. It's like a big uh, electrical panel, electrical box. It's pretty big too. Let's see if I can. Now this thing has firm and weighs like a fucking ton. Yeah, it really does. Holy mother of Christ! Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Oh, actually, I never noticed this before. Now I did know there was an office in one of these buildings. All the papers in the old office are in Japanese, which is neat. I think it's Japanese. Could be wrong. If I get ch get a chance, I'll, I'll go that far. I'm hoping to cover every building here. I don't want to spend too long in here because it's just a big empty warehouse. There's just some uh, old electrical boxes in this room here. And some of this shit's been stripped for co copper. You can tell. It's, yeah, this place gets, uh, oh wow, that's funny. I'm laughing. Yeah, it's just boxes. All right, I'll bring it back when I get to the next place. Uh, <clears throat> I'm tired. See you in a minute. All right, I'm almost back to the, the bridge. This is probably one of the most interesting places I've been. Might be the most interesting place. And I definitely wanted to come back here one more time and film. I don't like to make too many repeat trips to a place just because, you know, you've already seen everything. And, uh, you know, every exploration is a, is a bit of a risk. Now, I actually really like this crossing the bridge here. This is how I usually come in. I mean, it's just it's kind of picturesque out here. I like it. All right. We'll go explore the, uh, the pump house. I'll bring it back in a second. All right, here we are. Kind of view of the room right here, so I need to be careful. fucking valve here. Ooh, actually. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah. See, you know, there's 
Tree Creek pump. So I guess this is just a place that they control pumping out of the creek. Got some old heat lamps in here for in the winter it don't freeze. Uh, that's pretty cool. Just down here. Another heat lamp, more pumps. Yeah. Oh shit, just look at those. You see them? All those little fucking moon crickets. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't like those. They, they creep me out. Alright, let's continue. It's always one of my favorite shots right there. You see the mountains in the background? It's pretty cool. Alright, right, I'm going to take a long way around just so it's a little more secure. I'm going to go through the uh, storehouse first. We'll look through there. Then I'll go into the little pump. There's another little pump house. Control house. And then we'll go to the laboratory. Uh, I guess find a way across the bridge. And um, explore the, the two buildings out in the woods. And that'll pretty much wrap it up. Alright, let's get to it. house first, just because that seems a little more logical. So let's do that. sound like dragging sound every time I move the camera but there's not really anything I can do about it so <sighs> can I get up here with my bag on it's pretty big no god damn it We got a car. I don't think you saw me. Alright, let's get it. Alright. Alright, I just realized I actually had some stuff on my lens. Hopefully it didn't ruin all that video. I mean, if so, it's not so bad. I, mean, I haven't gone through that much stuff yet. Oh, let's start this way. Now, like, uh, I've looked at the blueprints for this place, and as far as I can tell, this was just like a maintenance building. Where they would store stuff. That's according to the EPA's records, anyway. It's just a lot of spare parts and stuff in here. A few places where they uh, deteriorated a bit.
old heater. Ooh, that conveyor is starting to rot. Oh shit. It's actually gonna come down with something. Get out from under it before it collapses. That door didn't used to be open. This might be a better way to go out. Shit, man. There are those fucking guys. They will fucking sit there and watch you the whole time that you're in here. Scared the shit out of us the first time we came through here. Yeah, but they just sit on those fucking tanks. Like they're amused by your fucking presence. Alright, All right, this shit, this stuff's kind of rotted. Deteriorated quite a bit. There's a sign. I said I wasn't going to tell you the name of this place, but oh well. There goes that. What's this? Fucking hell, my headlamp will not cooperate today. Red Devil. Hercules Incorporated Research Center. Now, if I had the time, it would be actually pretty cool to go through some of the paperwork. So, just out of curiosity. But there's tons of paperwork in the research lab. Which, I mean, really, the research lab is like the, the centerpiece of the whole place. Pretty much everything else here kind of sort of pales in comparison. It's got more shelves. Oh, we got a bit of a cave in here. All right. Let's keep it going here. I didn't used to be here before. <sighs> Alright, let me get geared up. Alright, here we go. Alright, I got my battery changed. I got a new card put in the camera. So I'm good to go. No interruptions. Alright, we'll start in here. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, this stuff wasn't here before. Somebody's been flipping the room. But to me, it's no problem. I do it too, so. Just, uh, lets me know there's been activity in here. Um, I got some, uh, old manuals and stuff in there. Uh, yeah, just books and shit in here. stripping this place. I'm guessing they were after this. Dumbasses don't realize that's steel. That's not worth anything. It's not aluminum. 
Fuck, if you're gonna be bothered to strip a place, fucking hell, at least bother to bring a magnet with you. Yeah, you can tell that's what they're in here for. They got this out. This will probably be the last time I come through here just because it gets more and more deteriorated with each trip. And uh, there's not as much to see. This is like the little uh, first aid station, bathroom, rescue, oh shit, rescue breather. place a fucking part. Yeah, none of this stuff was like this. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, they're not gonna have tiles to get the copper wire. <sighs> fuck. Now, this wasn't in this bad a condition. I guess that's what they're doing. There's a little bit of a storage room here. Is that a vacuum tube? Looks like the connectors for one. It's kind of neat. Too many messaging solutions. Alright, There's these big ass fucking printers too. Those things are huge. Oh, and uh, yeah, this is pretty cool over here. It's a big rack full of blueprints. Hercules Incorporated. Small floppy disks. Another big piece of equipment. Looks like another printer here. Small blueprints. Drive arrangement and view. That's pretty neat. Actually, this used to be up in the, uh, the fucking chemistry lab, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's a portable water analysis instrumentation box. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in this place? They got the damn desk turned over? <sighs> My only guess is that all this shit is like this so they could get up in the fucking default ceiling to get wiring out. But what the fuck? This is weird. None of this shit was like this before. This here was over here. This whatever. I have a very good me I have a, my memory is very spatially oriented so I can remember where everything was at. When it comes to names and stuff, it, it loses me, but. Yeah, let's see like that. That little instrument box right there. That's a UPS unit. That was in the built, that, that room back there. 
that black box, I don't know where the fuck it came from, but it wasn't there. This printer was in that room. And none of this fucking ceiling tile was broken out. Man. They have fucking wrecked this place. <sighs> Whatever, I mean, that's the nature of the game here, I guess. The well, longer a place is abandoned, and the more people come to loot it. Oh, hey. Topographic map. Oh, never mind. I thought it was a map of the facility. It's not. There's a little fax machine. Blending and packaging order. Magnetic oxide. Okay. Big ass printer. Look at the little add on bay. That's neat. We'll go upstairs in a minute. Let's go through the telecom room. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Do they even know what the fuck that they're after? Because, like, from someone who knows electronics, they don't seem to understand that they're targeting all the wrong shit if they were actually after money. But then again, if somebody's fucking looting a place for scrap. They're not exactly very high on the intelligence tree, so... Let's bring the guns up. So you, can, you can see that they checked everything trying to figure out what's what. That's, that's a lucid monitor. That's neat. Another UPS box. All the telephone connections. Alright. God, they bang this place all the hell. A lot of these holes and stuff weren't in the walls either. fucking desk. That's a cool desk. Little printer. What the fuck they turned this desk over to? What the hell were these guys doing? I think they were just fucking partying and rampaging through the place. That's gotta be it. There doesn't seem to be a method to the bullshit here. Man, that's got me worried for the second floor. wonder how bad it's gonna look. Have a fucking vendetta against fucking upright tables. What the shit? What the fuck is going on? Yeah, this table is here. A bunch of stuff on it. Yeah, they've spray painted a bunch of shit. I get some video of the place. They moved the refrigerator. <laughs> Just like, okay. Somebody ate the lean cuisine. This is like the little, uh, I, mean, I don't know what this is. It might be a payroll room. Research labs are this way. <clears throat> now, actually, I don't know what. Not this thing. Where is it? These things under here, these are weird. They're like big capacitor banks. They 
haven't fucked these up. So you can still see them. These big banks of capacitors. And then there's like some data equipment. I don't really know what it does. I'm sort of interested in it though. I don't know what it does. Alright. This is the lab. Which seems to be about in the condition it was in last time. A little more debris, but I guess uh, these tables are too big to flip over. Man, this is cool though. I love to have like a big fucking counter like this in the lab. That'd be neat as hell. But, uh, this shit will sit here until they demolish the place and build a fucking, I don't know, a Chevrolet car dealership or something. Oh no, they flipped that table. Oh, for the love of God. So every table that could be flipped was flipped. As far as I can tell. Oh. I don't know what this does. It's got like a little paper meter readout. I feel like there used to be something on top of this, but I can't remember. generator. Hmm. I heard voices. Alright, I'm going to have to quiet it down a little bit. see the roads right there and some of the railroad tracks. I don't want to stay in here. Oh, this is very, very mature. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving. Now, you probably saw the ladder in the lab there, but I'm not actually going to go in the attic. There's not much in there but a bunch of boxes. Very important sign. <laughs> oh hey, there's some some boots that maybe I could use for fucking headwater since mine gave out. That's that's pretty cool in here. They got all these old pictures. That's a pretty cool piece of equipment. I actually think that that no, that's a different one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, she looks happy. That's pretty cool. I won't right, spend too long in here looking at polar lights. See, this room here, I think, has got a bust a window. All right, this room's got like all the EPA site reports and environmental analysis and stuff. That's pretty cool. This is a bunch of paperwork. Uh, let's keep moving. Yeah, I don't know about this. Substantial water damage through here. Oh, projector. Slide a um, overhead projector. 
which are all VHSC tapes. Slides. Actually, I don't seem to have done much to the, this area. Just uh, all kinds of random shit. This room's kind of cool. Got some equipment on this one. A Leco control console. Uh, micrometrics. I guess it's for a, uh, a printing device of some sort. No, these are not coffee makers. Uh, neither are those, I don't think. They kind of look like coffee makers, though. Especially that one. That is a coffee maker. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, anyway. It's an induction furnace. There's two of those. There's another cool fucking desk. Well, I've got a thing for metal desks. Don't ask me why. It's an instruction manual. Oh, this thing's pretty cool here. Yeah. See, it looks like the thing in the picture. And, uh, oh, I wonder if it's in here. This thing. This is a huge electromagnet. That thing right there is very powerful. That thing's all boost. See, I'm pretty sure that that thing is full of fucking copper. These stupid fucking crackheads were smart. They would know to go after that because it's a huge electromagnet. Which means it's full of copper. Or this transformer here. But they went. They're not very bright. That's a cool computer too. Alright, let's go in here. It's an electrical room. Nothing much to see. A big fucking transformer, so. That's the women's restroom. I think that there's a yeah, there's like a little couch in here that they've oh, actually I think this some of this might be water damage. Yeah. That looked too fancy. Let's go down to the bottom level, and I'll um, I'll show you the uh, like the decontamination showers, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So we'll do that. All right. Back in a sec. All right. Actually, we'll take a look through the generator rooms first. These are pretty fucking cool. I actually think it's like like HVAC. It doesn't seem to be any generators in here, but this is a pretty cool place. So I don't look too bad. Is that anything happens if I hit the start button? That's disappointing. All right, let's keep going. To storage. All right, to the shallows. This wasn't broken. Fucking no wonder the damn police were patrolling so damn much. Fucking kids have come in here and destroyed the place. There was a payphone in this room. There's not anymore. I'm putting the lens again. Alright. <clears throat> An honest 
Honestly, I should be using a respirator in here, but eh, whatever. People are already dying of some fucking res respiratory ailment already, so well, whatever. This place is pretty cool. It's very creepy. It's got all the fucking equipment and shit that was left in here by the workers. I don't really know what the story behind all that is, but... Oh, I'll give you a date on this place. 2001. Ah. What the fuck? Oh. This is in the corner of my eye. It was a reflection of my light. On the mirror. What the fuck? Okay. Remember children, toilet paper belongs in the toilet, not the floor. Put it in its proper place. <laughs> Sorry, I have a habit of checking corners and shit. It's just a good idea, especially when you're in a place by yourself. This is an, an excellent time for me to to try to get it get it by. Another good rule of thumb. Always use your surroundings to your advantage. For instance, a loud ass train, two cars tall, blocking the view from the road and also covering your sound. Thank you, train senpai. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Almost there, I'm at the substation. Across the bridge. The train's still covering me. The train here is the real hero of this video. Because I didn't know how I was going to cross without being seen. Especially since I can't go through the creek now. and stuff. for 
a little bit of information here. There used to be huge parts of the factory through here on these foundations that you see, but these were all level after the place closed down, which is unfortunate because I would have loved to explore those. We got a set of offices and a lab out here, and that's gonna be it. Actually, when I came in, where I met the cop, I was actually gonna cross the river there, and that would have actually brought me here. But uh, obviously, that didn't work out. <clears throat> We'll go through the offices first, and then wrap up with the lab here. I think yeah, there's a door back here. I wonder how bad this place is. That's probably why they got the tents and shit set up on the creek. It's easy access to this place. Bar's open. Oh fuck. Doesn't look good in here. It's a good thing I filmed what I did. There's no telling how bad this place would be if I had waited. somebody that would sell one to me, that would be fucking great. I need an old CRT monitor. Holy shit. What the fuck did they do? Yeah, see, this is the office, I think, that had all the, uh, the paperwork was all in Japanese. Let's see if I can find some of it. promising. Yep, there's some right there. size analysis. Anyway, take my word for it. There is like a whole bunch of it. And I believe this was the office. I ain't digging through a bunch of fucking fiberglass. Man, this place has been fucking wrecked. It was not this bad at all. The insulation was actually inside the walls. Which is clearly not the case now. God, these guys had to be high as fuck to do this shit. Mostly because who in their right mind would fucking dig through fiberglass? You're gonna have a bad fucking time. That shit gets like under your fucking skin. It's bad. Even if it's on just a small part. You'd have to be fucking covered in this shit by the end of the day. I mean, I'm guessing that's what it is. I don't think this shit would just fall out. There doesn't seem to be any damn water damage. Up top. There's no telling what the fucking lab looks like. What's this? There's a piece of cardboard. Another desk I like. All right, let's keep, keep going. Yeah, see the see the lines of the fence there. Just uh, over there is the uh, the creek where the tent and shit was. Oh, fuck me. 
Are they just drunk as hell? Wait, I don't know. I just don't understand purposely destructive behavior. What? Yeah, because they turn that shit off. I'm not actually sure. Oh man, the air in here is bad. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't read that. <clears throat> Let me get my respirator on. See, uh, these are all labs here. Two mystery labs, I'm assuming. Yeah, the air in here is really bad. Whew. That's curious. Centigrade. Oh, it's a thermometer. That was a pressure gauge. Alright, I guess just carry on. It sounds like it might be an animal. This place is pretty cool here. It's got some old machinery gauges. Uh, oh shit. Ow, what the fuck? I don't know what, what he did. These are kind of cool. Uh, number one kiln temperature control. It's hard to hear me. I literally have to use this to breathe. It's actually this shit hurt my eyes a little bit. The air in here is bad. Like, real bad. <sighs> actually, you see this white thing here? That actually used to be setting up there. 
Something else they fucking knocked over for some goddamn reason. Alright. Let me get out of here. She makes a pretty good cane. Oh, I didn't go in here. Yeah, I don't know what the hell this yellow shit on the floor is. I'm assuming it's toxic. It's probably what's causing the air. <sighs> yeah, I can actually it's starting to come through the mask in this room. Okay. <sighs> I gotta get in there. Shit, shit, shit. <sighs> yeah, that's the room where it strongs. That's gonna wrap it up for this. I'll do an outro here in a second. But um, yep. In the bloody pocket. There you go. All right. Uh, I will bring it back one more time after this. You know, once I've actually gotten out of this place, because who the hell knows what's going to happen at this point. I've already had two fucking close calls. So, you never know. But uh, that's all the buildings and everything. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. It's a, it's a pretty big place, and I'll, I've always thought it was one of the more interesting places that I've been. So I wanted to come back one last time and do some filming, but I won't be back here again. Where the... Uh, Especially where the condition of the place has deteriorated so much. It was really unfortunate. Because it, you know, it was, I mean, it was still cool. But it was just, it was better before. Alright, so I'm still going to walk ahead of me. And I'll, I'll bring it back in a bit if I manage to get back over the river. See you in a minute. Alright, halfway there. I've got no cover by the train this time though. Think small and concealed thoughts. Here's the deal. I'm very percent sure I was spotted from the road. That's why I was running like hell. And so I know my options are running out here. Uh, fuck. The longer time goes on, the more likely I am to get fucked. I can't go back the way I came because I, the boots are fucked. So, the first way I got in here was I crossed on a city water main. It goes across the river. If I can get to there, I'm home free. But I don't know if that's going to happen. So, let me get off my ass and get out of here. back over the bridge because there's no way to get out.
So guess what? Happened again. I just realized my phone came out of my pocket. I swear to God, I'm a fucking idiot. I gotta go back and try to find the phone, retracing my exact steps. This is fucked. I fucking found it. God damn it. Fuck it, I made a mental note before I went through the river to put this thing in my backpack. So this didn't happen again and I fucking forgot. I've gotten lucky twice, so I ended up finding it. Fuck, man. Oh, God. Sprinting back over here. I fucking pulled something pretty bad. All right. I gotta make my way back now. This is taxing as fuck. Yeah, I'm all out of spring. All right, so I made it out of there. It was a very exhausting process. Part of that was just, you know, I had some good luck today, didn't get arrested. I had some bad luck, a few close calls, and then my own stupidity sort of prolonged the whole process. Uh, the fact that I fucking dropped my phone because I couldn't fucking remember to put it in my bag. But, uh, you know, shit happens, people forget things. But, um, you know, just, I do want to clarify here. I am not recommending that anybody do this shit, okay? I mean, I enjoy it. It's a hobby of mine. I like to see shit that you're not supposed to see, and then, you know, no normally people don't get to see. I like old stuff. I like stuff that's been abandoned. It's just, it's my thing. But, um, it's, you're, anytime you go into one of these places, you're carrying a risk. Risk of, you know, a trespassing charge or more. It's the reason why I don't bring any tools or anything with me, because they can use that shit, uh, to... to put together a, uh, a breaking and entering charge but um, a more serious thing a trespassing charge usually you can get out of most of the time but um like for say the way I explore is by myself most of the time not always sometimes I take some people with me but uh, I just like I like doing it myself I can go at my own pace but it's dangerous it's very dangerous doing it that way you can come across some fucking people a lot of these old factories have people that come in they strip this stuff out for metal. It's generally people that are on drugs in some fashion. Uh, it's, yeah, so you can get into like a violent interaction that way. Also, you could fucking fall down a flight of stairs. You could break your fucking leg. You could be trapped in a fucking factory where nobody knows where you're at. That's why it's a good idea, even if you're traveling, you know, by yourself and doing this, you let somebody know what you're doing before you leave. You know, that way, if they don't hear back from you from, you know, at a certain time, you know, they'll know if something's up they can tell somebody where you're at but anyway yeah i mean i really enjoy it and you know there's tons of people that do shit like this but there are people that die doing this shit so you got to be careful you know you got to be aware of your surroundings and don't take unnecessary risks is the main thing also put your fucking phones and shit in your backpack <laughs> so you don't have to go back for them but uh yeah, it was good exercise if nothing else
and I enjoy doing it and I hope you guys enjoy it uh, not not all my videos are gonna be like a big involved thing like this some of them are just like some old houses in the woods abandoned cars shit like that but uh, this is a pretty big one it's uh, one of the first places I ever went to that was you know big and impressive like this and I've always I've always thought it was pretty special it was kind of sad that um you know there was so much damage inside where kids have gone and looted and fucked the place up but I mean that goes with territory well, anyway I'll stop my monologue here uh, if you like this content go watch my other stuff if you think you, you know somebody that would shit would like it uh, you know share that stuff uh, you, you know this feel everybody does this feel so yeah I'll see you next time this has been major explorations hope you enjoyed it bye bye